What's up everyone, Takedown here, back with another part of my mini-series. This is going to be part two of Recent Games Played and Finished. Let's get right into this. Okay, so as you guys know, I have a huge backlog list on my PS4 of games that I want to clear up. So expect to see more videos like this in the future, talking about recent games that I've played and finished. So for this video here are some games that I recently purchased that I just started playing right away and ended up ended up finishing them really quick. Some are ones that I've been playing and working on for a while. So let's just get right into this. Up first, we're going to start off strong with Titanfall 2. This was a free PS Plus game for December. And after downloading it, I've never played a Titanfall game. I never played the first one. I didn't know anything about the Titanfall series. But it is almost like Call of Duty Black Ops 3 with the sliding, the wall jumping, and the double jump. So I was used to the mechanics right off the bat. The weapons that you can use are awesome. But what I enjoyed most is using the Titan. There's different weapons for each Titan. And I enjoyed the shotgun the most, I feel, because I'm used to playing with shotguns in shooter games anyways. So the shotgun for the Titan was the best, in my opinion. But just playing as all the different titans and earning so many trophies for campaign mode was a lot of fun. The story for campaign mode was phenomenal. I really enjoyed it. However, the campaign for Titanfall 2 I felt was a little short. I felt like they could have made it a little bit longer. But the Titanfall series is supposed to be an online mainly game. The first game was apparently all online. There was no campaign. And for the second one they decided to make campaigns. So... I'm more into campaign games. I don't really care for online too much anymore. So the fact that Titanfall 2, they had a campaign in it, I'm glad that I started off with Titanfall 2. Online was fun too. I literally played one match and got all of the online trophies. There's only three online trophies. So I feel like if it is an online game, they should have had more online trophies. But regardless, the game is a lot of fun and I finished it fairly quick. Of course, I had work, so I finished it in a few days. But it's definitely something that you can finish in one or two days max. Next up is Battlefield 4. I purchased this back last summer, summer 2019. And I purchased it because it was on sale for about $5. And the main reason that I purchased it is because I wanted a game to play in the winter whenever my hours are slow at work. So I basically just added it to my list of my backlogged games. So after beating Titanfall 2... I wanted something else that I felt was going to be quick and easy to play and beat the campaign for. And Battlefield 4 was that game. Battlefield Hardline, which is the Battlefield game I played previous, which I purchased at around the same time for $5. Hardline, I felt, was trash. Um, it was just a very poorly constructed campaign mode altogether. So Battlefield 4, I was kind of leery on. I didn't know how I felt and how it was going to hold up. But it was honestly phenomenal. The story is amazing. The gameplay is awesome, the weapons in the game are awesome, the story is great, so everything about Battlefield 4 I felt was on point. The trophies were there, you could go back and replay certain parts to get the rest of the trophies. Um, I got quite a good amount of trophies on the game, which is of course something I love whenever I go and purchase games. I want to get as many trophies as I can for that game, but the campaign mode is awesome and I ended up beating it. Again, it's something that you can finish within a day. I think I played it within two days and I had it already beat. So it honestly was a lot of fun. So those two games are games that I played on my 12 days off before Christmas, whenever I took my vacation this year. Next up is Onrush. Onrush is something that was a free PS Plus game, I want to say near the end of 2018, maybe uh, November, December. But I started playing it right away and at first it was a lot of fun. I played it with Jack. It was a fun game. But once Jack started going back to school, I started to play it a lot more myself just to earn as many trophies as I can. And I basically blasted through the game and got to the point that there was only one trophy away for platinuming the game. And I recently got my final platinum for the game. I got the final trophy, which I just had to finish one more race. Ended up passing it, getting all the objectives. And it was an easy game to platinum, but it is a lot of grinding work to go and... Make sure you get all of the um, checkout stuff and all of the objectives for each race for the Superstar mode. Some of the Superstar mode, I think the max that I had to replay one of the races for Superstar mode was twice just because some of the objectives 
Um, you have to get three objectives finished in the course of the race or the course of the tournament. So it was a little bit challenging, but the max that I had to replay a single one was about two times. So it was too hard. Now, sometimes I'll go back and try to play it and help out Jack, but it's at the point that I just find the game extremely boring and very repetitive. It is something that you basically have to grind out and near the end of you getting the platinum because you've grinded out so much on it, it's at the point where you just don't even want to play the game anymore. You just want to finish the game and get that platinum just because it is an easy platinum to get. It's just you have to grind out and try to get that platinum. So next up is Hitman Go, which I recently purchased. And I think I made a video talking about recent pickups. This is one of them. It was honestly cheap to get. It was $1.50. It's an easy, cheap way to get a platinum. There's not much to it. It's a simple game. I've never played any of the Hitman games, but this is basically a uh, turn-based game, if that makes sense. So your en the enemies will... It'll be their turn, and then you get to move. So kind of a cheap game to uh, play. An easy way to get a platinum, though. And it was only $1.50 when I purchased it. So I ended up getting the platinum for it. And the next one is Little Adventure on the Prairie, which I included in my last video talking about recent game pickups. It's a cheap game. It's literally you have a sword, and you're just... It's a side-scroller, and you have to defeat all the enemies per level and you'll eventually get the platinum there's only i think 10 levels maybe 15 levels very cheap it was only three dollars so if you want to boost your trophies and get another platinum i recommend it but other than that it's just not that great of game but these are the recent games that i've played and finished my favorite one on this list would be titanfall 2 other than that battlefield was awesome on rush was fun it is something that i enjoyed the races and i enjoyed all the challenges you have for it except it is a very repetitive game. You're basically doing the same thing over and over, and it gets boring after a while. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, talking about my recent games that I played and finished. I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.